Shalom, brothers and sisters. Could bizarre activity on the sun be causing catastrophic disasters all over the planet? Yes. The data confirms that the current solar cycle, the 25th since records began, is picking up intensity at a much quicker pace than NASA and the U.S. National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration forecasted. Wow, shocker. Sparking concern over severe space weather events in the months and years to come. They should be concerned. And they are because they're buying more and more underground bunkers and prepping for what's coming. They know what's coming. Just days ago, one sunspot grew to be 10 times wider than Earth in just 48 hours. It released an X-class flare that could have potentially caused major problems. An enormous, rapidly growing sunspot on the sun's surface has unleashed a mighty X-class flare, the most powerful type of solar flare that the sun is capable of producing. I think they're in for a shock. They're going to realize way more powerful things are coming from the sun soon. The solar storm slammed into our planet, triggering brief radio blackouts in part of the US and elsewhere. But it could have been a lot worse, experts warned. Expert, unknown drip under pressure. The enormous dark patch named AR3354 emerged on the solar surface on June 27 and within 48 hours had grown to cover 1.35 billion square miles or 10 times wider than Earth. Space weather scientists were alarmed by the colossal sunspot's rapid emergence and feared it could spit out a barrage of potentially harmful solar storms, according to spaceweather.com. So we'll come back to Revelation. Revelation 16, verse 8. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and power was given to him to scorch men with fire. There's an angel that's working with the sun that is going to scorch men with fire. And why do I keep saying there's an angel and he's in the sun, not just standing by the sun and pouring bowls on the sun? Because if you go to Revelation 19 verse 17, then I saw an angel standing in, in the sun. And he cried out with a loud voice saying to all the birds that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather together for the supper of the great God. And it continues from there. That angel, obviously uh, getting ready to do his thing because we're there. The timeline's done and his job is now coming up. And he's slowly but surely stoking those fires and getting everything going in the sun. And that sun, there's so many times that I've read articles in science, science journals and things that I don't report on because I follow that quite closely too. Um, the sun's consistently putting out bigger flares. And the massive ones generally just miss us off to the sides. And if they'd hit us, we'd be in panic mode with the chaos. That for me is like warning shots. Test the system, make sure it's working, boom, boom, to the sides of you. I'm going to be hitting you shortly. And now a couple of x flasks, the biggest the sun can do, like is affecting the radios. You have no idea what's coming. The wrath of God's going to be epic and the sun's going to show things they've never seen before. So yes, these scientists have a right to be seriously concerned and liquidate their uh, stocks and bonds and buy themselves some Bunkers in the ground because the Bible says that they're all going to go and hide in the mountains and under the rocks from the face of God. Not that that's going to help them at all. I prefer to seek refuge in the bosom of the Most High. God bless. Keep looking up. See you all in the cloud party soon. Shalom.